an Australian TV host launched an attack on Meghan Markle on live television, accusing her of being a woman at war with everyone. During analysis of the Queen's speech and other royal family events over Christmas, including the Duchess of Cambridge's piano performance, Sophie Ellsworth, a media writer for the newspaper The Australian, told Sky News Australia how Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were noticeably absent from Her Majesty's Christmas Day speech. Ms Ellsworth showered the Duchess of Cambridge in praise, lauding her for her complete style and class with her piano performance and in events in the run-up to Christmas. But things appeared to take a turn for the worst as the Aussie unloaded a barrage of heavy criticism at the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Asked whether Prince Harry and Meghan would be welcome around the Christmas table by Her Majesty, Ms Ellsworth claimed the California-based pair would absolutely not be. But she went further in her analysis, noting, the Queen in her speech didn't mention Meghan or Harry. The Australian writer went on to allude to Meghan's court victory against the Mail on Sunday for publishing letters between her and her father, Thomas Markle. She said, now she has had this court case that she has won against the newspaper. She has won this court case, this might be a win for Meghan. Off the back of the case, the Aussie went on to accuse Meghan, saying she is at war with everyone. Ms Ellsworth suggested, this woman falls out with everyone. She falls out with her best friends, her own father, her stepsister, her in-laws. I mean the list goes on and on. In a nasty jab at the Duchess of Sussex, Ms Ellsworth added how she just wishes there was a day where I don't have to hear about Meghan Markle. But she claimed, unfortunately, her and Harry are obsessed with being in the media, despite wanting privacy. And we are going to hear a lot more from them in the new year. Last week, the Duchess of Cambridge has taken great comfort in playing music throughout the pandemic, says a royal source. Kate Middleton has shown off her tennis abilities, drawing skills and photography know-how in the past, but she wowed everyone at the Christmas Carol concert she hosted on December 8 with a newly revealed hidden talent, playing the piano. The Royal, 39, confidently accompanied singer Tom Walker on the keys, in her first public performance, for his poignant rendition of For Those Who Can't Be Here, surrounded by candles lighting up Westminster Abbey. According to a royal source, the idea for the performance came from the Duchess of Cambridge herself, who learned the piano as a child and has taken great comfort in playing music throughout the pandemic. Music was very important to the Duchess during the lockdowns, says the royal source. She also recognizes the powerful way in which music brings people together, especially during difficult times. For these reasons, she was keen to be part of Tom's performance in this way. Kate Middleton has shown off her tennis abilities, drawing skills and photography know-how in the past, but she wowed everyone at the Christmas Carol concert she hosted on December 8 with a newly revealed hidden talent, playing the piano. The Royal, 39, confidently accompanied singer Tom Walker on the keys, in her first public performance, for his poignant rendition of For Those Who Can't Be Here, surrounded by candles lighting up Westminster Abbey. According to a royal source, the idea for the performance came from the Duchess of Cambridge herself, who learned the piano as a child and has taken great comfort in playing music throughout the pandemic. Music was very important to the Duchess during the lockdowns, says the royal source. She also recognizes the powerful way in which music brings people together, especially during difficult times. For these reasons, she was keen to be part of Tom's performance in this way.
past, but she wowed everyone at the Christmas Carol concert she hosted on December 8 with a newly revealed hidden talent, playing the piano. The Royal, 39, confidently accompanied singer Tom Walker on the keys, in her first public performance, for his poignant rendition of For Those Who Can't Be Here, surrounded by candles lighting up Westminster Abbey. According to a royal source, the idea for the performance came from the Duchess of Cambridge herself, who learned the piano as a child and has taken great comfort in playing music throughout the pandemic. Music was very important to the Duchess during the lockdowns, says the royal source. She also recognizes the powerful way in which music brings people together, especially during difficult times. For these reasons, she was keen to be part of Tom's performance in this 